Okay, when 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 it what is self care when the disease is so deep that it's it's other family members are starting to be infected, affected, affected, and that's so there there's going to be different layers of self care, and it might be how you guys just sit on the bed and hold hands and breathe together before you try to get a good night's sleep. In that moment, you're practicing self care. One of the self care issues. Um, and, and Steve and I had a, had a talk about this 80-20 principle yesterday, and the, you're going to see throughout, the, throughout your life this 80-20 concept, but it starts a little bit differently with self-care, is that we're going to start practicing self-care in tiny, tiny little ways 99% of the time. Tiny little ways. It's not some grandiose act of everything shifts. It's a Hey, I just need a second. Can we just look in each other's eyes and just take a deep breath together? Self-care, marriage care, right there. Okay? And we start doing that when we don't need to do it. So that when the shit hits the fan, our habit is self-care. So 99% of the time, your focus has to move into self-care. When you're driving to work, what does taking care of yourself look like in that moment? When you're cooking a meal, what does taking care of yourself in that moment look like? When you're walking to your car, what is... That's the practice of self-care. It's not the thing you do when your kids act up. It's the thing you do. 